Okay, I've got six eager girls here ready to go. We're gonna see how fast they can do it. That's a big one. Oh my goodness. Like piranhas. How fast will it be? Boy, this is normal speed. I'm not, I'm not speeding anything up. You either really, really like those a lot, or your pigs, or both. I've got emerald and ivy, cinnamon and spice, and ruby and rosy. Got two green queens, that would be emerald and ivy. Rosy and ruby, or both Rhode Island reds and cinnamon and spice are Isa Browns. Boy guys, they are really doing good on it. You can see the bare areas, they are all full. They may tire out before they get them all. Hopefully they'll get them. These are supposed to be very healthy for the girls that just picked them earlier this week. You check out the other videos, you'll see. Freckles is over there ready for hers next. You're going to get yours, Freckles. Come on, girls. Speed it up. It's amazing how they pick those out one at a time. You going to join me there? Yes, you are. Sweetie, good to see you. Emerald, it's been a long time since you've done that. She was just saying thank you for the big sunflower. It's funny, that's Emerald and Ivy opposing one another right there. That's Ruby, Rosie, Rosie and Ruby. You can see We've taken the roosters away, but these girls were really damaged. They're getting their new feathers back now, but the roosters were really rough on them, so they're getting a break. And, of course, cinnamon and spice back there together. For the longest time when they roosted, they would sit together with their sister. These are the original six chickens that I got when I first moved here to this little homestead. Girls, you're working good there. You can see the empty spots. That's amazing. This thing must have had, had thousands. I don't know, maybe some viewer can tell me if this thing were let's say seven and a half inches in diameter about how many black oil sunflower seeds were in it please let us know in the comments that hurts my brain think about it They are not going to let up. I was afraid they would stop. <laughs> you pecked your sister. That went nice. There's plenty there. You don't have to fight them. I use uh, wood chips out here 
with the chickens and then I take it rake it out every once in a while and compost put it in the compost and boy I tell you you can grow anything in that look at those girls go I've never sat and watched them eat a whole one like this. I was just curious because I come back and it's totally empty and I'm thinking, wow, they are really putting it away like piranhas. These chickens are about a year and a half old right now. I got them when they were just a couple of days hatched out. Can you sit up here? You want to sit up there? Uh oh, I don't think so. All right. All right. She's been the leader all along. You know, she's not, she's actually the lightest, smallest chicken here, but she, all the others just kind of take orders from her. She's in charge. They've never really fought. Let us know in the comments if you have backyard chickens. I'm curious. Just uh, touch base with us. And let us know if you live in the city, in the county, if you have roosters. What kind of chickens you have. All of those things. I'm curious. Girls, you're hiding it from me. Can I bring it back over? Let's bring them back over. They are almost done. Keep working. Oh, she's going to scratch at it. The girls can't quit now. Two are over there getting a drink of water. This is all rainwater gravity fed for these girls and they love it. Barrels that fill up with rainwater and they do well even though we've had a, might as well say we've had droughts lately. Still somehow managed to keep enough in there. Use it also for the garden. You wanna hop up Ruby or Rosie? Come on. Come here, girl. Hey, quit being mean to your sister. <clears throat> These girls lay eggs nearly every day and all through summer and winter. They've done very well. I will say the Isa Browns, the cinnamon and spice. If if I could only get one breed of chickens and I wanted them for eggs, I would probably pick Isa Browns. Yeah, I'm sure, and again in the comments, let us know your thoughts. What, uh, what breed of chicken would you pick if you could only have one breed and it was for eggs? They're slowing down, but they're still getting them. Let's bring it back over, girls. Come here. Get it. And don't let me down. Finish it up. We're not going to quit till they're done. You're going to scratch at them. Are those getting tough to pull out? Rosie's contemplating jumping up with me. They used to always sit on my leg when they were little chicks. Always talking, aren't you girls?
If I had to do it all over again, I probably would have never gotten roosters. Although, I love my roosters. I just probably would have never gotten roosters. Or they would have been maybe chicken soup. I don't know. I shouldn't say that. I love them all. I can name the roosters. We got Dick Tracy, we got Columbo, we got Chance, we got Alex Axel Foley, Sam Spade, we got uh, Kojak, and Sherlock Holmes. I believe that should be it. About seven of them. They're all named after detectives or law enforcement people of some kind. Girls, you about done? Boy, they're getting down to the Nitty gritty now. It's really nice not having uh, to buy eggs the grocery store and these eggs are so good. They're really rich yolks. They're almost they're really more orange than yellow and great for baking, great for anything. We eat them every day, breakfast. Again in the comments, let us know what you do with your eggs. I wind up giving a lot away to friends. We're gonna start a little honor system soon and have those down by the road for local people and along with some vegetables. Alright. I do believe we are done. Girls, thank you for eating every bit of that. You should be happy. You should be full. Alright. Congratulations. Everyone, thank you. Congratulations for watching this entire video. We appreciate you. Please like and subscribe. See you soon. Tennessee Farm out.